In downtown Chicago exists a statue that reflects the beautiful lights of the city. As the Untamed Science crew explores the statue, it's easy to see how that light reflects off this statue. But did you know that the reflection of light is the reason we see any objects, including this apple? To explore this issue further, we need to send the crew somewhere much, much warmer, like the Caribbean. Okay, so in the daylight, this apple looks red. But did you ever stop to ask why? Well, the answer starts with the fact that sunlight here is made up of all colors of light. And did you know that the color of light is related to its wavelength? Sunlight is made up of many wavelengths of light, and each wavelength is a different color. You can see the different colors in white light when it passes through a prism and the light bends or refracts. The shorter wavelengths bend more than the longer wavelengths, so the light separates into different colors, like a rainbow. The shortest wavelengths are violet, and the longest wavelengths are red. Okay, so this apple looks red because molecules in its skin interact with the various wavelengths of sunlight. Now, most of these wavelengths are actually absorbed by the apple, except red, which is reflected. Now our eyes detect the reflected red light and our brains register that we're seeing a red apple. It seems pretty simple, huh? Well, it's not so easy to explain the colors of many things like water. So we're gonna explore the question, why is the ocean blue? And to do that, we're gonna run a simple experiment. All we need is this red apple. We're gonna use these colored toppers and we're gonna use my dive gear. Cause you see, I'm gonna dive down into the depths and I'm gonna see if the colors look any different underwater. Well, what do you think's gonna happen? I don't know, let's go diving. Here we are at one meter, and the apple still looks red, right? Well, now let's descend to the wreck at about 35 meters. The apple looks dark gray or black. Did the apple really change color? Nope. When I turn the camera light on, the apple is still red. And look, we can see some of the colors here on the toppers. Do you know why we can't see red, but we can still see green and blue? Well, at the surface, the apple looks red because it reflects red wavelengths. But at this depth, there doesn't appear to be any red wavelengths for the apple to reflect. And it absorbs all the other wavelengths, so it looks black. But what about the color toppers? You can see the blue and green colors are still showing up, even if they appear a little bit different. So that means that at this depth, there might not be any red wavelengths, but there's still some blue and green wavelengths. So why does this happen? It's because red wavelengths are absorbed by the water first, and blue and green wavelengths penetrate deeper into the water. All right, so how does our experiment help answer the question, why is the ocean blue? Basically, since red light is absorbed first, and blue and green are the last wavelengths to be absorbed by water, it appears blue, or blue-green. But really, the complete answer to our question is a bit more complicated. Another reason the ocean is blue is because during the daytime, water reflects the blue of the sky. But water isn't always blue. Like here in the Mississippi River, this water is a little bit yellow and a little bit brown. Just like the apple, particles in water reflect certain colored light too. All right, so let's review what we've learned today. So we've learned that each object appears a certain color because it reflects that wavelength of light and absorbs the other wavelengths. And water often appears blue because it absorbs the red wavelengths first and blue wavelengths penetrate deeper. You can make your own prism to see the different wavelengths of light by filling a glass of water and holding it up in a sunbeam against a white wall. Find out what colors you see and never stop exploring your world. But wait, we're not done yet. All right, and just to show you guys what happens as you go deeper and deeper in the water, we're going beyond where you can go with scuba. We're in the submersible, and we're gonna take you to the limit of where light penetrates the ocean. 
All right, so we're down here now at 2,000 feet, and there's absolutely no light coming from the surface. So I've had to use an external light to show you that, yes, my apple is still red, but you would never see it if you were down here without light. <laughs>